P is present value, annuity or equal installment is A, I is the rate of interest in decimal and N is the number of installment. Formula for present value is A into 1 plus I whole to the power N minus 1 whole divided by I into 1 plus I whole to the power N into 1 plus I. 1 plus I whole power N minus 1 divided by I into 1 plus I whole power N into 1 plus I. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. So today in this session, we are going to study about the present value as well as the future value of an annuity due. So in last session, we have learned what do you mean by annuity, the present value and future value. So annuity is nothing but the equal amount which is paid in installment. Whereas the present value is nothing but it's a value which is obtained earlier and it it is paid in an equal installments later. But future value is the lump sum amount which is obtained later. But we will be paid the annuity or equal number of installment before the future value. So now here we are discussing about the annuity due. So what is this annuity due? So it is the amount which is paid at the beginning of every interval of time. So here we have a formula to calculate the future value as well as the present value. The formula to find out the future value of annuity due is, so it's the same as the future value of annuity immediate but it is multiplied with 1 plus i. So here again f is the future value, a is the annuity or equal installment, r is the rate of r or i is the rate of interest in decimal and n is the number of installment. Next we have a formula to calculate the present value annuity due that is p is equal to, so it's the formula of present value of an immediate but multiplied with 1 plus i which becomes an annuity due. So due is nothing but it is paid at the beginning of every equal interval of time. So now p is present value, annuity or equal installment is a, i is the rate of interest in decimal and n is the number of installment. Now let us take a problems to calculate the future value and the present value of an annuity due. First problem, Find the future value of an annuity of 2000 for 6 years if the payment is made at the beginning of each year, interest rate being 10%. So in the question itself, they have mentioned the payment is made at the beginning of each year. What if in the question if they have not asked or not said that the payment is paid at the beginning of each year, then you should consider the present value as well as the future value in annuity immediate, not at annuity due. So since here it is mentioned that the payment is made at the beginning of year, we should take the formula to find the future value of an annuity due. Now the formula to find out the future value of an annuity due is A into 1 plus I whole to the power n minus 1 whole divided by i into 1 plus i. Now let us calculate the values here. So they have given a is equal to 2000 for 6 years. So number of installments is 6 and the rate of interest is 0 0.1 in decimal. So substituting these value 2000. So 1 plus 0 0.1 is 1.1 whole to the power 6 minus 1 whole divided by 0 0.1 into 1.1 because it is 1 plus i which is 1 plus 0 0.1 which is 1.1. So then our numerator value so a is 2000 here so evaluating this entire thing here the value we will get is 1697.4342 divided by 0 0.1 so which is equal to 16,974.342 in terms of rupees. So this is the future value. Next question, find the present value of an annuity due of 1000 for 3 years if the payment is made at the beginning of each year, interest rate being 4% per annum. So we need to find out the present value. Formula for present value is A into 1 plus I whole to the power N minus 1 whole divided by i into 1 plus i whole to the power n 
into 1 plus i. Now the value of a is 1000, number of installments is 3 and the rate of interest is 0 0.04. So here 1000 into 1 plus 0 0.04 is 1.04 whole cube minus 1 whole divided by 0 0.04 into 1.04 whole cube into 1.04. So numerator value is equal to 129.89 divided by 0 0.0449. So dividing these two values, so the value will be equal to 2892.97 approximately. So this will be the present value for the given annuity. Next question, Shreya purchased a mobile paying 5000 as down payment and promising to pay 200 every 3 months for the next 4 years. The seller charges interest at 8% per annum compounded quarterly. What is the cash price of the mobile if the payments are made at the beginning of each 3 months? So since here the interest rate is compounded quarterly, first we need to calculate the effective rate of interest. And then we need to find out the present value of the mobile here. So first let us write the thing, what are the things given here? So here A is equal to 200, that is the equal installment is 200. I is 0 0.08. So for the next four years, the rate of interest is compounded quarterly. That means in a year, it is four times. So therefore, in four years, the number of installment will be 16 times. First, let us calculate the effective rate of interest. That is 1 plus I by Q whole to the power Q minus 1. Next question. Shreya purchased a mobile paying 5000 as down payment and promising to pay 200 every 3 months for the next 4 years. The seller charges interest at 8% per annum compounded quarterly. What is the cash price of the mobile if the payments are made at the beginning of each 3 months? So here we need a hint cash price is equal to present value plus 5000 because she has already paid 5000 and the remaining amount she is paying in an installment for the next 4 years. So that means we need to find out the present value. So therefore before that we need to calculate the rate of interest also because here the rate of interest is compounded quarterly for four years. So that's why here I is 0 0.08 and let us calculate the interest annually. So divided by four years it becomes 0 0.02 in a year. Also the number of installments is so it is made at the beginning of the three months. So therefore in a year, it is 4 installment. So therefore, the number of installment for 4 years is 4 into 4 is equal to 16 installment. And the annuity amount is 200. So this is equal to A into 1 plus I whole power N minus 1 divided by I into 1 plus I whole power N into 1 plus I. Now A is 200. 1 plus I means 1 plus 200. 0 0.02 whole to the power n is the number of installment which is 16 minus 1 whole divided by 0 0.02 into 1 plus 0 0.02 whole power 16 into 1 plus 0 0.02. So now evaluating this the value will get us 2769.9 in terms of rupees. So now the cash price so that is the Cash price of the mobile is equal to the present value as well as the amount paid by her. So that is 5000 plus 2769.9 which is equal to 7769.9. So this is the cash price of the mobile. Next, how much should you invest if you want to receive 5000? At the beginning of each year for the next five years if the compound interest is 16 percent per annum compounded quarterly. So it's a future value of annuity due. So therefore we need to calculate the value of F. Before that the rate of interest is compounded quarterly so need to calculate R. 
So which is 1 plus i 0 0.16 quarterly is 4 times in a year minus 1. So evaluating this, we will get the effective rate of interest R is equal to 0 0.1698 or 16.98 percent. Now the future value of an annuity due is A into 1 plus i whole power n minus 1 whole divided by i into 1 plus i. So which is equal to 5000 into 1.1698 whole to the power 5 minus 1 whole divided by 0 0.1698 into 1.1698. Next question, how much should you invest if you want to receive 5000 at the beginning of each year for the next 5 years if the compound interest is 16% per annum compound quarterly. So here, we are talking about the investment. That means the present value. So we want to receive 5000 at the beginning of each year for the next 5 years. So what is the present value or what is the amount I should invest so that in the future I will get 5000 rupees for the next 5 years. And it is compound interest is calculated quarterly here which is 16%. So first let us calculate the effective rate of interest that is 1 plus i by q whole to the power q minus 1. Now I is 0 0.16. So since it is compounded quarterly, Q is equal to 4 here, 4 minus 1. So the value will be equal to 0 0.1698. Now the formula to calculate the present value P is equal to A into 1 plus I whole power N minus 1 whole divided by I into 1 plus I whole power N into 1 plus I. Substituting the value, we have 5000 into 1.1698 whole to the power 5 minus 1 whole divided by 0.1698 into 1.1698 whole to the power 5 into 1.1698. This is equal to the numerator value is 6963 and solving the denominator the value is 0 0.3719. So dividing these two numbers, the value we will get is 18,222.77 in terms of rupees. So this is the amount of investment. Next question, a company needs 1 lakh 7 years from now. It would like to set aside an equal amount at the beginning of each year out of its profit. If the interest rate is 16% compounded semi-annually, how much should be invested annually? So if a company needs 1 lakh rupees after 7 years, so it likes to set aside a amount and that equal amount or that equal installment is your annuity. So here we are supposed to calculate the annuity value whereas 1 lakh becomes the future year. Now, the rate of interest is 16% which is compounded semi-annually. So therefore here first we will calculate the effective rate of interest and then we will find out the annuity value. So therefore the effective rate of interest is R is equal to 1 plus i by q whole to the power q minus 1 which is 1 plus 0.16 since it is semi-annually it is twice minus 1 here. So the value here is 0 0.1664 or we can say 16.64 percent. Now the future value of an annuity due is A into 1 plus i whole power n minus 1 whole divided by i into 1 plus i. So now we need A. So A is equal to F into i divided by 1 plus i into 1 plus i whole power n minus 1. So now A is equal to future value is 1 lakh, I is 0 0.1664, 1 plus I is 1.1664 into 1.1664 whole to the power 7 minus 1. So the numerator value is 16,640 divided by 2.2594. So dividing these two number, the value of A is equal to 7364.78 in terms of rupees. So this is the annuity value.
So today we have discussed how to calculate the present value and the future value of an annuity due. I'll meet you in the next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.